What is up, Charlotte Orioles and Oriole families? We are here for another game of Overwatch. We are here for week two of Overwatch. Sadly, we did not have a week one of Overwatch. We did not have an opponent, so the last time you saw Overwatch on the screen for this channel was back in our preseason game, where unfortunately Charlotte lost 5-0 um, to Rockford in their opening game. But we are back here. We are ready to start our official season. Um, for those that are wondering, perhaps, like, if we if we didn't get an opponent last week, what that means. That means that the uh, league basically gave us some free points. So we were able to get some points off of that. Um, the only downfall is if there's any tiebreaker, Charlotte will not have any uh, points above another team uh, point differential to break a tiebreaker. So kind of a win-loss for us in, in week one, but we're ready to play our opponent today. Today we're playing Carlton Heston Academy. They are the Patriots. I believe they are in St. Helen, if I am correct about that. Um, so they're coming in here trying to beat us. It is their game. They are creating the lobby right now. You can see I changed up the beginning screen a little bit. We got today's roster on the screen for you. Midnight Wolf is going to be Cage. Platinum's going to be Brendan. Tay Witt is going to be Tayshawn. Insanity is going to be Davin, and Snipe Lee is going to be Bowden. So we're going to have those guys kind of uh, fluctuating in and out of the game as we deem fit for um, for each map. We kind of like to rotate things as we go. Um, but here, let's play some Overwatch. Let's see how this works. Hopefully we don't have the same issues as last time, and I'm stuck looking out in the middle of the ocean. Um, I do love looking at the ocean, just not in a get video game. Uh, and I, it looks like I'm in here. So, Charlotte is going to start off with a, a little bit of a brawl here comp. We have a um, Snipe Lee is going to be playing Ramatra. Uh, Platinum is going to be playing Reaper. He has moved from support to a DPS. He's played really well on DPS the last few weeks, and we like what we've seen, so we're going to try it out today. Insanity is going to be on a... Um, a Farah for us, so she'll be flying up in the air, um, or he'll be flying up in the air. We have our supports is uh, Taywit and um, Midnight Wolf. They're going to be playing Brig and Bap. So pretty brawly comp here. So let's see from our Farah here probably to start out what kind of angles the Farah is going to be able to get on the right side here as Insanity opens up some early shots on the Lucio in the back line. Nothing really to find there, just poking at the enemy. Farah got changed a little bit this season. She's a little bit more of a ground character than she has been in the past. All right, but let's get a kind of third-person view of what Charlotte's working into here. Snipely26 is trying to push on a point, and the heals are coming out from his supports to make that happen. Go over to Tayshon here. Tay Taywitz getting the heals out on his team, dealing massive heals to his team right now, trying to keep the tank up. Snipely26 is holding block right now as they cannot find an entry into this point. And uh, Carlton Heston did a great job of taking early point present. Let's go into Farah here, see if Farah can hit any shots to open something up for his team. He's looking at supports right now, but the supports on 
uh, Carlton Heston are doing a really great job of hiding and getting away from here. Now, really, really risky play here. Uh, I cannot believe he lived that Midnight Wolf going in for the supports on the right side. That was insane, and he's allowed to live it, but hey, it captures the point for Charlotte. Charlotte's going to go ahead and wipe some people out right here, and we are going to have a sight take for Charlotte, so Charlotte's going to be able to cap this point. All right, so the only one I think we lost there was Insanity. Insanity did die. He's going to switch to Bastion and head back to the point. We'll watch a little bit of Platinum here. Uh, go, Charlotte. Let's go. Love you, Bobo. Hey, Bobo's great, man. Snipely26 is out here playing. Miss Cubic, good to see you in the chat, too. All right, Platinum out here on the Reaper. Some early damage coming out by him. This is just some really poke kind of stuff. Look at where Charlotte's playing here. Um, playing a little farther back into sight. Tank is playing further out. We have a window come out. The Bastion should deal some heavy damage right now out of that window. Snipely26 gets uh, slept. Doesn't matter. The Diva ult comes out behind, doesn't connect on any Charlotte players. Reaper ult comes through for Carlton Heston, gets several Charlotte players. We lose three on that. Charlotte's going to be wiped off the point right here, and, and Midnight Wolf is just going to die and reset with his team. Charlotte got about 39% of the points. So those of you that are in the chat that don't know how Overwatch works, um, this right now is um, we're basically trying to cap the point. So we have one point, and each team is trying to fight for it, gain the point, and up their percentage to 100%. So you can see on the right side there in the red, that's Carlton Heston's uh, percentage. They're up to about 60% right now. Charlotte got theirs up to about 39%. Uh, um, we have some alts here. The ult comes down from Snipe Lee pretty early, but he's taking a lot of damage and he got an anti, but the Sucker is gonna come out from him. And Charlotte's gonna wipe. That was pretty easy. Diva doing the best she can to eat some damage here and stay alive. They could stagger that, but Diva's going to wisely back off, and her team's going to reset this. So Carlton Hessen now going to have to come in here and take the point from Charlotte. They should be sitting on decent ult uh, economy here. I don't believe they've used too much. Um, but uh, we have some deaths on the Charlotte side of things. Charlotte has lost their supports four and five times, respectively. Um, so let's kind of watch our supports here and see what kind of things they're dealing with that are leading to their deaths so much. Um... Cage play really far up there. Midnight Wolf is uh, the sleep comes down, sleeping our Reaper. The flanker on the back right side, that bar is probably going for an ult right now. tayshon has got to keep the MO ready for when the Fara does ult here. Switch over to Snipely 26. I think we're gonna get a Reaper ult here if I'm correct. Let's see if I'm correct. He's looking for it, he really wants it. He's gonna ult one, he gets one, and he gets the Diva down to half. He's gonna fry this Diva down to no mech. That's a great play by Platinum. And he's gonna go in there, try to finish out the Farah. Gets confused, doesn't know what he's looking at. Lucio ults out of desperation for Carlton Heston. But Lucio's gonna go down, it's just the Reaper on point, but the Reaper ulted. And we have a couple fighting on point if I can get back to him. We have Midnight Wolf fighting for his life on point. Trying to stay alive. We have a tank and a support up. It looks like they're going to be able to pull this one off. But Carlton Heston is feeding people into the point. The Diva Bomb goes down. It is blocked by the shields on Charlotte. They continue this fight. snipely has got his ult right now. He's going to go do it right now. He's going to get a couple picks. This Diva's got to go. Carlton Heston fighting hard for the point. But I do not believe Carlton Heston's going to hold on. That's map, or that's point number one for Charlotte. Woo, that was an exciting one for the first one. How about that? Man. I told him I was going to have to save my voice today, but I lectured twice. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep my voice. All right, little uh, stat checker. Let's see what we got going on here. So uh, Snipe Lee, um, I can't remember which one on the other team is Tank. Gosh darn it. Um, but he's 11 and 1 right now. Uh, Midnight Wolf is 10 and 1. Uh, Insanity 7 and 3. Platinum 7 and 2. So we got some decent numbers coming out for everybody. We're out fragging um, Carlton Heston. Over to our supports here to try to get a behind look of what the team is going to do. We're going to third person right here to try to see what Carlton Hessen's going to line up and do here. This point is really interesting. It's just one tower in the center of the map. 
and I'm assuming Carl Hessen either TP to that or had their Farah hold the space for them because they are again the first one on the point. We have a 2v1 over here on this soldier. This soldier's gotta die. That soldier is gonna die. That's a good isolation play by Charlotte. Now they can move into point with a 4v5 situation. All right, soldier's gonna go ahead and get that MO out. We'll watch Insanity here for a second. He's gonna steal some damage. Looking for that Mercy in the back line. The far is right up above him. He should be frying that Farah. He's gonna look for her. He's gonna find her, and he's gonna kill her. And that's gonna be an end to the Farah and an end for Carlton Heston. Is all that's left is the Zarya, and she's gonna go down pretty early. And we have Charlotte take the sight off the first sight. But you see there, Carlton Heston did get 23%, so not a total loss by them. But they do gotta reset. I like the Zarya pick by them a lot, especially if Charlotte's playing with a soldier. Um, and a uh, and a um, uh, Reaper. I don't, I don't mind that pick for them at all. Plus a map as well. So Zar should be decently charged here. Let's see if Charlotte's got anything to play with. Shield coming out by Snipely. Looks like there has been someone pointed out on the right side over there. It is the Farah. The Farah sitting in that kind of alleyway with the Mercy. That Mercy puts herself in harm's way. But Snipely 26 can't capitalize off it because he's taking so much damage. The supports are one shot for Carlton Heston. And Charlotte's going to go ahead and pop off here with a window. Lots of damage to be dealt here. The Mercy Res comes out, bringing the Bastion back for Carlton Heston. But the Mercy's now under target of Snipely 26. And oh, he's going to go down to the Bastion turret. That Bastion turret does so much damage. It is so deadly. Charlotte had every right to win that fight, and they end up losing it. We are stronger together. Chat, let me know on the audio. If I'm too loud or the game audio is too loud, let me know. I, I can't hear it from your perspective, so just be honest with me. It's really week one for us, so. All right, we have been a while since we watched Platinum, so let's go over to Platinum here, the Reaper on our team. Uh, Charlotte gets a stagger pick early on, so we're fighting a 4v5 already. Uh, so a difficult situation as we start this one for Charlotte. They're going to have to pop some alts or wait for the rest of the team to come back. Really risky TP, but he's going to get something out of it, I hope. Oh, he can't get anything out of it because of the cleanse. And it looks like it opened up the team uh, the, for the rest of the team, and Charlotte's able to walk in on point and wipe things up there. Um, we're sitting on a visor. Wow. A visor and a annihilation alt from Snipely and Insanity. Uh, so we'll probably try to stick to Insanity here. He's going to visor this. He's probably going to... I would look for the Flyers and the Mercy if you can. Um, Zara's already back. She walked in ahead of her team. He just fed that Zarya a little bit. Not too much, though, but she is going to like that charge. I believe Bara for Carlton Heston still has her ult. The visor comes out early for Insanity. Insanity's going to try to get something with it, but there's a lot of util in front of him, a lot of cover for Carlton Heston, and that's not really going to pay off for them. So the next ult here is probably going to be uh, Snipely26, who's going out crazy with his ult. He's hitting W. Is the rest of the team there to support him? He's got a lot of kills. That's a great play by Snipely26 to get the kills for Charlotte. Charlotte's going to be at 97% here. The far is still alive. I think she has ult. She's probably going to try something desperate. Doesn't get the chance because a great window by Taywit. And Charlotte's going to take map two or map one. And we're going to seal that one up. Whew. How about that, Matt? Great showing by Charlotte, able to fight back. It was really tight uh, uh, mid-percentage by both teams. Um, the play of the game is going to go to Carlton Heston Patriots for this Reaper all. But I tell you what, um, that's hilarious. OK. That's what we teach. So it looks like he gave up right there. That He did not give up. We teach them to die when it's over and just let it go. And so Midnight Wolf did exactly what he was supposed to right there. He just died. Um, but uh, good good Reaper out by Carlton Hessen. But Charlotte's going to take two, po two points, uh, win that map 2-0. We do play five maps now. We do not play three – or I'm sorry. We do not play four. We played four last year, which meant we tied a lot. Um and I, nobody likes that. Nobody likes ties. So we go five maps here. There will be a winner. Um, and our second map is going to be Midtown. So I'm going to take a breath here. You guys can take an ear break from my voice. And we'll come back when Midtown is ready.
So, I am back and ready. Looks like Charlotte is making one sub, which we talked about. Um, Mr. One Bullet is coming in for uh, Midnight Wolf on this one. All right, so we are hopping back into this lobby. I just had a Youth of America arrive. Midnight Wolf has made a surprise appearance. Cyber Corsair. Nice name, by the way. Bowden going crazy. He always does. He's cracked out of his mind. He's nuts. So we're waiting on a... We got an all good from Platinum. Platinum's been the one organizing our lobbies this year. He's been a, doing a great job with it, I must say, too. All right, going into Midtown. Midtown is a fun map. I like Midtown a lot. Um, it's a little pokey in the beginning, but it gets brawlier as it goes on. So we'll see what kind of comp Charlotte comes out in. I didn't see if we were playing defense or attack first, but we'll see in two seconds. If we're on defense, I would expect to see a Sigma here, right? Gotta be a Sigma. If it's on attack, I don't know. We might see a, might see a Ramatra again. Okay, we're on attack, so it's going to be a Ramatra, so Charlotte's going to be trying to push yeah, onto the point here. Um, this mode's a little bit different. It's called hybrid, so you have now. to go and cap a point. Once you cap the point, then you are moving a car, basically, across the map and trying to capture different checkpoints on the map. So Charlotte's going to have to fight through here. Um, most teams play poke at this early point. And what poke means is basically they're just trying to poke a little bit of damage at a time at you and be really annoying from Hello. from farther away. No and, and they use a lot of that space. No so mercy. we have a pretty pokey comp except for our Ramatra. We've got an Ash. We've got a Sojourn. Those are going to be able to do some damage from farther away. We also have an Alari, or as I learned recently from our Spanish teacher, Iyari. All right. And uh, Taywood's going to be on Baptiste for us. Yeah, sure. Where Charlotte's positioning themselves. They got three on the high ground right now, trying to rain down some fire. But the Vashon turret's going to be doing a lot of damage. You really got to wait for that turret to go out and then make an advancement. So Charlotte's going to be constantly calling up that Vashon turret for when to move forward. The heal's coming out right now from Taywit, but he waits a little too long to get his tanks and heals right there. But he's going to keep him alive, dealing damage as he does it. Um, Taywit really loves to bounce around here. He's got the BAP one shot. The BAP goes on the other side of the fire truck, but Bowden's going to be able to pick up the kill here. Charlotte's got everybody one shot, and Carlton Hesse is going to be rolled off the point. And I believe they're going to cap this point. Carlton Hesse might be able to chow the point. And yeah, now they're not going to be able to. There's no way. So, Charlotte's going to cap point. And now, Charlotte, you're going to see a car come out the garage to... Stifley's left right now, and that car has to be advanced along the map and get certain checkpoints as things go on. So Charlotte's going to look at the second fight here and try to do the same thing they did in the first fight. In terms of alts, no alts right now for Charlotte, but we're about 50-60% on all of them. Malga switch for C. Oh my gosh, that Malga just got deleted. All right, that's insane. And Bowden's going to go ahead and walk this up for his team. And that's going to be a clean wipe for Charlotte. Mauga is a big target. And uh, he deals some damage. But I tell you what, he is a gigantic human being. And uh, he just eats bullets up. 
And honestly, Charlotte is not even running high damage comp. We just demolished that mob. Oh, they immediate diva switch to try to counter some of the damage coming out by Charlotte. But I mean, honestly, Carlton Hester right now has a problem that we've worked through in our own team. They're pretty staggered right now. They're not fighting a 5v5, and Stifley's going to hit an Annihilation and just push Carlton Heston back. This has been a walking uh, back for Carlton Heston. The VAP's going to go down, the Diva's going to go down, and Carlton Heston's still contesting this, even though they don't have their whole team. So Charlotte's just saying, hey, we'll take this fight. It's a 3v5, 2v5, bring it on. All right, so Charlotte is now sitting on four alts there. The only thing they use is Annihilation. So let's see if I can predict. Maybe Disrupting. I bet we get a Sojourn wall. And, and, and I'm sorry, a Sojourn alt and a mirror here. Um, or a window, I should say. Oh, we have a game pause. So someone on the team, uh, one of ours or one of theirs, decided that now is a good time to pause. If I had to take a bet, I bet it'd be... Uh, Carlton Heston, because if I were their team, I'd want to pause too. If you're getting walked back like that, you really got to take a second, regroup your players, and say, okay, um, one of our players has a bug, and it won't let him pick a character. Interesting. All right, so we're going to wait and see how long it takes for them to make that happen. All right, so um, I believe pauses can only be 60 seconds. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. I have not read the rule book back to back, so I could be wrong on that. Oh. This ends now. So it looks like the entire team of Carlton Hessen just left the match. Um, I believe that is a... What are they doing? Uh, looks like they're trying to join back in. It looks like they restarted their side of things. Um, so obviously some technical issues going down for tech, uh, Carlton Hessen right now just to compile for them what's wrong. But you see, now that they've done this, it looks like there was a miscommunication because Mr. One Bullet used his alt right there. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on between the communication of the two teams. Um, but uh, definitely some odd interactions going on here. But, hey, it's eSports, all right? Sometimes you have technical difficulties. Um, that's just something you got to deal with. So we'll wait it out. We'll see what these teams um, start to do here. Make me owner again. We're trying to get – they are supposed to be owners of this game because they are the host. So we will wait and see what we got going on here. Oh my goodness, they gave me no time to prepare for that. All right, we're right back into the game. Unfortunate uh, side effect of that is Mr. One Bullet did use his ult, so I don't know if there was some confusion there by them. Maybe they thought the game was over or what happened, but uh, we are sitting on a couple of ults here. The window coming down from Taewit is gonna deal a lot of damage to the team of Carlton Heston, and Charlotte just continues their march. Um, they're marching more than Sherman did right now. They're just walking right through with no competition. My goodness. Little history joke for you there in chat. What do you think about that one? 
If anybody in chat gets that, I will clap for you. Well done. <clears throat> Alright, we're on the corner of 42nd... Oh my god, I just realized this. It doesn't say 42nd, it, 40, it says 42nd Street. Or 42nd... That, I'm just... I'm dumb. That just says Street. Never mind. I got it. That was funny. Good job. All right. So we're going to reset. Charlotte is going to be on defense. Oh, we got to watch. We got to watch Mr. One Bullet here. All right. Look. Mr. One Bullet. Mr. One Bullet was on the Widow, and he chose Sojourn instead to stick with the Sojourn. Um, I was I was ready to watch some, some Widow play. All right, so I told you before that if it was defense, we would probably see a Sigma. And, of course, I am correct. Uh, we have a Sigma here. Um, Snipely 26 is definitely a top 500 Sigma, at least in the Michigan area. I don't know if that's an actual statistic, um, but uh, I'm calling it a statistic. Coria in the chat. How you doing, bud? Navin Big? Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, Going crazy. One. All right, so we'll start off here. Where's Charlotte playing? We're looking at one person on height. Well, two on height. Um, we're going to make sure that Mr. One Bullet's going to have to get out of here because he is really alone. So he's got his slide there, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. He's going to back off wisely and play with his team. Watch the subway train for his team. He's dealing a lot of damage. There's a lot of people in there. The whole team is up there, so Sniper Lee's going to go ahead and take that position and kind of fight 1v1 with the Sigma in this little space here. There should be a lot of damage coming out on both sides because it is such a restricted zone. The immortality goes away. Snipe League gets knocked off and it looks like Charlotte's gonna choose to play back on the point here. The Bastion on the right side is dealing a lot of damage to Mr. One Bullet. Mr. One Bullet gets hacked. He's gonna have to stay alive here. He chooses to be aggressive and he goes in on the Sombra, forcing the immortality from Taywit. Bowden's still fighting hard on uh, the edge of point here, he's full health. He has a bath right in front of him. Missed a few shots, that's all right. Locks the rock from the Sigma. Rocks the Bastion away from his turret. He has out of util right now. He's getting some of it back as we speak. Uh, Charlotte is sitting on almost an alt here from the Ari. Great high ground positioning here by Mr. One Bullet. I love his position that he's in right now. The shield saves the Lucio from death. But everything is kind of unfolding right now for Charlotte as people go down left and right. Um, it is just right now Mr. One Bullet on point trying to live against a Bastion and a Lucio. That Lucio was one, one, one shot. Hello. Weaver isn't real. Facts. I'm not a fan of setbacks. He's just a government drone. Objective All right, so objective number one lost for uh, Charlotte Carlton Hessen gets that point and they're going to be advancing the payload uh, you can see that car on the right side that's gonna be advancing and Charlotte's gonna have to fight to take control of that car so it stops going forward uh, but you can see on the left side at the top Charlotte got all three points not only did they get three points they have five minutes of time for those three points so a lot of a uh, lot of time here for Charlotte uh, Snipe Lee's gonna hold out that um, Still get no extra health from it. Huge ult coming down for both teams. Big hack coming down from the Sombra. Uh, but it looks like Charlotte's going to be able to stay alive. So that must mean that Tay Witt's doing work out here trying to keep the whole team alive. How many ults they use right there? They use quite a bit. Sombra just being a nuisance in the back line right now. I mean, Sombra is a terrifying person, but is, if she doesn't have a team to capitalize off what she's doing, she's much less scary than um, than a lot of the other characters. But Taywit sees the Sombra trying to shoot her out of her infis, and he can't make it happen. So let's switch over to one of our DPS here. Let's watch some insanity. Haven't watched him in a minute. Putting down shots on the Sigma, who's one shot. He's going to be able to get the kill on the Sigma. Charlotte right now really just in full control of this. I mean, we lost the first point, but not too too much on this that's really threatening us right now. Um, Carlton Hessen's going to have to figure out a way to challenge Charlotte in a way that makes sense. Um, probably if I were them, I'd make a tank switch here. Um, 
and I would probably go towards something more of a dive comp, because we're really playing Pokey right now, and Pokey really struggles to dive, so let's see if they do it. Insanity's one shot, but gets healing just in time to kill the Sombra. The Sombra goes down for Carlton Heston. It's now a 4v5 on a point. The, the signal coming out for Carlton Heston. It's going to get rocked away by Bo. I'm sorry, I missed that, bud. But he's going to get their Sigma in the alt, and he's going to rock that Sigma down where he should be. Good kill by Bowden. Snipe Lee winning the SIG 1v1 by a long shot right now. I'm mad I didn't catch him rocking the SIG out of the air. That would have been cool. Alright. Snipe Lee putting in some early damage. They switched to a Reinhardt. This is a good switch. I like this by Carlton Heston. Um, except for Reinhardt sucks, so they're gonna have to try something here. Um, every time you think about playing Reinhardt, people at home just play Rom. Just play Rom. Oh, one shot insanity. Taishan doing a really good job keeping him up. Ryan is already one shot because he's just a giant bullet uh, catcher. And um, Mr. One Bullet trying to put massive damage on the team right now, but he's gonna stay alive. Um, and Carlton Heston is just full stopped right here. They, they they don't have really an answer for sh what Charlotte's doing. Um, and I really like what I see. Railgun is charged. Ryan is already one shot, but he gets shield up just in time. The window comes out. Go over to Bowden here. Probably some DPS. Where's Insanity at? All right, we'll watch Platinum for a little bit. We haven't watched him in a while. And things are going down, and I can't find the right person. But, oh, Snipe Lee 26 is one shot, but he's going to get some free health off of the DPS of Carlton Heston. And Carlton Heston has some ground here. They're taking some space. But I don't know if they're going to be able to push much further than that with what they have got going on. Right, Where is that Bastion at? How is the Bastion back there? Uh, the Bastion's playing Dive, and he has gotten behind Charlotte somehow. Good util usage to get away from the Ryan for now, but it looks like, oh my gosh, one fire strike or anything hits him and he's gone. Um, we have Insanity and Snipe Lead still fighting on point. Bastion's going to be one shot, and Charlotte, I think, is going to be able to reset this fight. Yep, it is a 5v5 again. Insanity putting some bullets down on the Reinhardt, trying to focus the heals in the background. Now, a high noon coming out in the back is going to be stopped by the ammo by Taywit. Great ammo by him to hold that high noon to minimal effectiveness. Snipe Lee 26 going to all right here, but an MO by Carlton Heston stops most of the death on their team. He's going to be stunned from the Ryan pin, but the team dies behind the Ryan, and this should be wiped up pretty quick here as long as they can get this Kiri dead behind the Ryan. Ryan's going to pin in. He's alone now. Kiri is going to get wiped off point as soon as Charlotte finds her, and this should be a win by Charlotte, but it, oh well, looks like one more person might be coming from Carlton Heston, but it's going to be a Cassidy, and he's too scared to touch. Charlotte is going to win map two. Play of the game brought to you by Mr. One Bullet. Okay. Okay. Charge and oh, I didn't get that last one. That was a good play of the game. Good job by the kid right there. Mr. One Bullet is Royce, by the way. I didn't mention his name at the beginning. All right, so that's two. We got three more. not muted that's embarrassing <clears throat> big dub indeed big dub indeed i was checking my audio 
making sure the audio sounds good. Chat, let me know if the audio needs work. I can uh, I can change the uh, game audio, turn that up, or I can turn myself down. I tend to yell a lot, so let me know what you think on that one. Let's see if Charlotte's going to make any uh, changes here. I think we might have discussed a change the next map, but not this one. So I think we should be staying with our with our comp this time. So it looks like they are taking a five. So that means they're taking a break. Um, probably discussing some strategy over there. So let's do a little bit of recap on the first two maps for Charlotte. Map one went really, really well. Um, there were a few times that Charlotte got pushed off the point. But overall, Charlotte seems to be playing together. That's one of the things that we've really stressed the last three weeks, man. Um, Overwatch is a team game. And your team is so much better when you are playing together and when you are swinging things together as long as they stay together they can really play with anybody um so we're waiting to uh, while we're waiting on this hopefully our players are discussing how they can continue what they've been doing um over the first map uh the second map um we switched to a little pokier uh comp we played brawl on attack our brawl was really good we stuck together uh carlton hessen really couldn't stop us whatsoever uh we kind of just walked him back um, but that shows that uh, we didn't leave any weaknesses there and we were allowed to just kind of do our thing. Uh, and then I thought we played a really good poke too once we switched to defense when we played a Sigma and we had our uh, pokier DPS in there. We did a really good job with that. Um, right now, Charlotte's looking really good right now. Hopefully they can continue that and Carlton Heston um, can't put things together and we can walk away with a, with a victory right here. But we do have three more maps. We are going to play all five maps regardless of what happens on the third map. But... If Charlotte wins the third map, that is a victory for us. And um, the rest of it will be for playoff points. The more playoff points you get, the better off you are. Um, and then the tiebreakers this year is point differential. So the more points we can gain over Carlton Heston, uh, the more of a tiebreaker chance we have. And that, that was the unfortunate circumstance of surrendering, or not surrendering, but uh, not having an opponent in week one. Uh, we got free points in terms of the playoffs, but there was no point differential because we didn't play a team. So we're looking to increase our point differential so that way we can um, have a tiebreaker if needed when we get further down the line. But all things look good for Charlotte right now. Uh, I am going to take a few minutes to drink some water. I will see you in a moment, chat, and uh, we'll be back against the uh, Carlton Heston Patriots in a second.
Still waiting on Carlton Heston right now. Let's see if they tell you said anything in the chat. They have not said anything in the chat. Um, so we're still waiting. So you can see over here on the right side in the red is Charlotte's squad. Uh, that's me down there. I need to change. Oh, what am I doing? I got to change to a panda. Why did nobody tell me I wasn't rocking the panda right now? Where is the panda? Panda, panda, panda. Where do they find this thing? There's the panda. There we go. All right, we equipped the panda. There we go. All right, so you can see right here, Charlotte as all pandas. All right, we support pandas around here in Charlotte, Michigan. Um, all pandas, big and small, support them all. The ones that do kung fu, love those ones too. Pretty sure it's been around five minutes, so... Yep, Platinum just put in the chat, what's the call? We're waiting on Carlton Heston to come back here. Um, I'm not sure if there is even a rule about a five-minute break in the in the rule book, so... Um, it's kind of odd, but we're waiting on it. not over by any means for Carlton Hesed. I mean, you can have a, a map that's just not your map, um, and you could get walked back, and you can come back to the next map, and it is yours, and, and you can um, bring things back. So this is not over by any means for them. Um, so they should be uh, hopping back into this. But uh, they need to hurry up so we can get things moving. sure Keith has the rule book out right now and is waiting for the time frame that we can oh looks like they've joined back okay Carlton Heston has five in the call we have switched to Junker Town which is our next map and it looks like we will be going in shortly all right, so this next one is called Escort. Escort is the same car that you just saw where you're moving the car along to each checkpoint, except for there is no point to capture to get the car. You just have the car from the beginning, and you got to push it throughout the map as things go on. So you'll be looking at uh, uh, the distance traveled by the car, and um, they said, okay, sorry for the wait. We're ready now. That's good. All right, so we can get this thing kicked off. And hopefully complete a Charlotte victory. If anything, that gave my voice a break. For those of you that were here last year, uh, my voice did not make it through every game. So, that was pretty embarrassing. 
There was one game at the end of it. It sounded like I was 13 again. It was pretty bad. All right, we got to move the Charlotte logo over here. What is that Charlotte logo doing there? Get that out of the way. Right. Oh, we got a widow. Let's go. All right, over watching here. the widow. Over Mr. Here. One Bullet. No mistake. He's called Mr. One no Bullet mistake. because it only takes one bullet. And if it only takes one bullet, that's a nice easy pick for Charlotte. Oh, he started bubbling. So I'm gonna watch him to start here, and you guys can't stop me. I love watching Widow gameplay. Hello. Forgiveness is earned. Saying hello to each other. Uh, perhaps building some team camaraderie in the spawn here as insanity and Mr. One Bullet. Uh, look lovingly in into each other's eyes. Five, um, four, ready to three, demolish two, Carlton Heston. Alright, Widow's gonna peek here. One bullet. Oh, hits the headshot on the tank. That's a good start. Alright, let's see what he's got in him. Can't see any of the other team right now. He's gonna go up in the air, try to peek out one, but he can't see anybody yet. It looks like they're hiding from him. Oh, the Sombra comes out with a hack. And uh, that might be an immediate switch. All right, probably gonna what, what's gonna happen? He's gonna immediately switch to another character as the Arisa is putting a lot of damage out on Snipely 26 right now. Snipely's gonna get hacked. He's gonna be one shot. He's gonna go off to the left side here. Uh, Taywit and uh, Platinum doing a really good job keeping their team up right now. Uh, as Insanity gets a pick, he's gonna take out the turret from the Ari of the other team. Soldier's gonna be running in the background. A lot of damage coming out on the tank for Carlton Heston, and Carlton Heston's tank's gonna go down. Looks like Charlotte's gonna win this fight. We have a nice soldier wipe up in the room to the left, and Charlotte wins the first fight. They're gonna be moving cart. You can see the distance on the cart going up on the left side, and you can see that bar filling up with blue as it goes from Charlotte's space, or I'm sorry, Carlton Heston's space to Charlotte's space. Target's locked, open fire. All right, so with the immediate switch, Mr. One Bullet is now on to the Soldier, but he is being shot immediately by the Sombra. That Sombra is a nuisance for him. He almost got that kill on the Soldier. He's going to do something risky and go peek the left side of the Soldier. Yeah, the Soldier has no idea. The Soldier has headphones from great value. Oh, my gosh. All right, Sigma's going to be taking a lot of damage here. Sniper 26 trying to push back. He gets the Alari Turi out of there. And the take for Carlton Heston is one shot. She's going to go down. And now it's just a, a cleanup here for Charlotte. And the Carlton Heston soldier's trying to live. And I think he's going to get out of this, I believe. Yep, he gets out of that. All right, so looking, uh, let's look at, watch Platinum here. He's on... Um, Alari, which has a turret that heals for her, and she also does some kind of a... Oh my gosh, tank is one shot right up. The ammo goes down, and that tank might not even live the ult. She does. She's really weak, though. Really, really weak. Can we kill her? Thank you. All right, tank goes down for Carlton Heston, and really good damage coming down for Platinum right now. Doing the job of a DPS on support. That's just what Alari does. She does a lot of damage. Um, she's really fun to play, and I know that Platinum loves playing her, and he does a really good job doing it. Right now, Charlotte's got five alts uh, to use against Carlton Heston, so you're gonna see some uh, you're gonna see some people hitting Q here uh, for Charlotte. The only death for Charlotte is Mr. One Bullet, who died in the beginning just because he was bitch masked on characters. Uh, Sigma coming out for Carlton Heston. Bowden is probably looking his chops right now because he loves the Sig One v Ones. He says, anybody that wants to chow me, chow me. Go ahead, I dare you. Uh, the supports are caught by Cycle 26. The Ana goes down, the BAP goes down, and that means Carlton Heston is just a matter of time before they all go down. They have no healing whatsoever. This Cassidy's fighting for his life, but he's not gonna be able to pull off a 1v5 with no healing. That's just not possible. And Charlotte is going to be able to, I believe, just walk this back. Sombra is AFK in front of Cycle 26. Perhaps contemplating her life decisions. Hacks in front of him. And I believe, oh, we lost Taywit in the back line. So let's go ahead and back to uh, Mr. One Bullet here. Get an aerial view of what's going on. Looks like Charlotte might be trying to get out of this fight because it does appear to be lost. That was a good hack by the Sombra. She contemplated life and then realized that she was better than Charlotte. Um, so she's able to get a good EMP there. Charlotte really needs to reset this fight. They need to back off right now. And it looks like that is the call to back off and reset things. 
to come out and fight again. Charlotte is still sitting on three alts, so they have plenty of utility and ability to capture this point. Oh my gosh, the, the damage from our supports is insane right now. Our supports are out damaging their DPS, which is pretty wild, uh, if I must say so. Probably gonna watch uh, Mr. One Bullet here. He's gonna go ahead and DP all, DPS all this, I would assume. Um, Any time now, Sanity gets a nice pick, and we're gonna have an alt coming out by the enemy Sigma, and that's gonna cause Mr. One Bullet to go down. So we're gonna switch over to Insanity, who did not have an alt, but is still making it work. He's got a couple of picks in this fight. Headshots on the Sombra, headshots on the Cassidy. Good wipe up by Insanity right now to put all the pressure on Carlton Heston to make something happen, but they only had supports left, and they would rather die in the back than try to touch that one. They would have died anyways. Charlotte walks back Carlton Heston and takes all three points. Huge, huge escort attack right there. Something I'm noticing from Carlton Hessen's point of view, um, they are really, really beside themselves on what to do. They're making a lot of switches, trying to make something happen with those switches, and um, it's just not happening. I think their tank is getting some decent value uh, for what he's supposed he to be doing, but so it, it doesn't seem like the DPS is there behind it to yeah, capitalize off of what the tank is doing. So, um, it's early season for everybody, it's early season for them, it's early season for us. Um, in fact, that was something that we worked on. We worked on everybody capitalizing off each other. Uh, and Sandy, I need to watch him more because he has 4,500 damage right now. Uh, so we'll watch him off the start. No uh, mistakes. But uh, capitalizing off what your, uh, your teammates are able to do with their damage is a huge part of Overwatch and targeting the same people and making sure they, they go down um, is really, really big. Five, four, three, two, Alright, so Dynamite coming out on the top there because it looks like Carlton Hess is going to be coming out from the top. They switched to Roadhog, possibly some hooks coming in uh, to stop that. We have a perfect comp to take care of this Echo. If we can take care of it right now, he's going to go ahead and do it. Great shots by Insanity, but he's going to get hooked. He's going to go ahead and coach gun away from it. Good job by him to know his util. Know what he's got to do. Uh, Mr. One Bull in his fight up top. Um, looks like there's a couple people in that room to his left. He's going to wisely back off the catwalk where his team can help him. But it's a 2v1 over there. He's got to back off. Great healing by our supports. Teddy going to try to break down this BAP. That BAP's going to be about health. At half health, he's going to back off. And he's going to get the kill. He almost... Oh, he repeats. What is he doing? Uh, go ahead and get that kill insanity. Here he's just sitting in front of him. Oh my gosh, this is just free kills right now for Insanity. He's not even really having to do much or move much. It's just free. Lost to the cosmos. Huge kills right now by Insanity. Doing a great job. Our first alt is probably going to be Royce. Switch over to Mr. One Bullet here. He does have his alt sitting in wait. Getting one shot, but our supports are just doing a great job keeping him alive um, so that he does not suffer from his um, the shots that he is taking. Gets the bap about half health. He's putting spray damage on a lot of different people. What? Uh, both of those are an all here. Snipely is going to get the bap. He's going to get one of them. That's all you got to get. And the MO didn't get down in time for their Baptiste, so he's going to go ahead and get the kill on the Baptiste. And then also we have the all coming down for Mr. One Bull. I missed that one. Next alt is going to be the Bob coming out from Insanity. Insanity has not died yet, by the way. He has done all this damage, getting all of these picks for his team, and he has not died once yet. Um, Snipely is also just dominating the competition right now in terms of this. So, uh, Bob possibly coming out. Bob coming out right here on the support line. Huge Bob. Bob is doing something. Good job by Bob, good job by Insanity. That's a huge alt onto the back line. He could have thrown it towards the hog, but that would have been a mistake. So he throws it to the back line, makes them suffer, tries to get the kill here to end the team. Gonna go ahead and participate in that one too. Insanity sitting on 29 kills and zero deaths right now. Uh, definitely player of this match uh, right now. 
Uh, doing his thing. The map runs back into spawn, but the tank is going forward for Carlton Eston. And uh, the damage is just consistently coming out right now. The Sigma copy possibly trying to get a Sigma ult off here, but as long as Charlotte keeps that shield up, the Sigma can't really charge off of it. He's going to run out of time before he can get it out, but the Sigma's actually one shot behind, and Rom is aggressing uh, Sniper League 26, but Sniper League 26 is doing a great job of keeping that Sigma under wraps. He's already at 81 on his ult. Uh-oh, I think the sun is going to uh, come down here. Perhaps. Perhaps the sun. Okay, no sun, maybe. All right, looks like Charlotte's going to be able to lose, or not be able to, but they're going to lose this fight. Uh, Platinum is going to be able to reset here. Can't win every single fight. Insanity has now died for the first time, but Platinum has not. So let's go ahead. I really want to watch uh, the sun drop on... Um, on Carl Hessen here. Let's see if he makes it happen. Alright, race the sunrise, here we go. Alright. Oh, did it get cleansed? Nope, not all of it get cleansed. I knew coming out. Big ult by Snipe Lee. But big ult coming out by Carl Hessen too. This is a really scrappy fight. There's a lot going on right now. I think Charlotte might lose this. And Charlotte is going to lose that. So a lot of alts coming out for both teams. Carlton Hessen doing a great job showing some fight right now. Not allowing Charlotte to just take him over here. And Charlotte has no alts right now. They're about to have uh, Insanity's ult. So they're going to have another bomb here. But they have no immediate alts to use in this fight. So they're probably going to play a little bit pokier. Um, I like the Sigma choice here. I like Sigma a lot on defense on this map. Mr. One Bullet switched to Soldier. I like that too. DPS both about equal in terms of damage, not equal in terms of kills, but pretty close. Uh, healing doing really well right now, outpacing the healing for. Oh, God, there's gotta be a kill. Alright, the Cassidy goes down for Carl Peston. Uh, high ground has been acquired by Charlotte. The great uh, uh, shots by Royce here, raining down on Carl Peston. They have no high ground, and if you don't have any high ground, on this map, it's going to be really, really difficult. This is one of the most annoying curves to take in this entire game. I hate playing it. A lot of people hate playing it. It's a difficult curve to take in the game. You got the enemy team holding high ground over you consistently, and uh, you got to find a way to kick them off. So Charlotte's sitting on no alts whatsoever. They're not even going to probably have alts in this fight until later on. So they got to farm up alts here. Snipe Lee is going to be hindered right off the bat, but he's going to hold his shield back. He's going to be saving that rock for when the... Oh, he almost got a kill with the rock, actually. But he should be saving rock for when Ramantra goes into his uh, punching guy form. I don't remember what it's called. He's going to punch out Bowden right here. He's going to be ignoring the ROM, and he's going to be raining fire down on the Kiri behind the ROM. And ROM has no aid from his support because they are just pinned in this room trying to avoid the damage by Snipe Lee 26 but Snipe Lee 26 is being relentless let's get a little support play over here by Taywit. Taywit's going to be on high ground with his soldier keeping his soldier alive and making sure that he can provide all the shots his team needs um, let me see where Mr. One Bullet is in the rotation is two to the right because he's going to go ahead and rise in this fight probably but Taywit's going to be providing lots of Shots going down from the visor. It's a visor combination with the Sig all, and it's going to do a lot for Charlotte right there. A lot of ults coming down for Charlotte to try to wipe Carlton Hessen off the map. The only thing saved is Sun, and Carlton Hessen's going to get wiped. Charlotte does a really good job right there holding Carlton Hessen, giving up a little bit of ground early on. But hey, when a team pops four or five ults, you're, gonna, you're probably going to lose that fight. So uh, play the game going to the carry here of... Huh. Sometimes people's heads just walk right in front of your crosshair, you know? Alright, so we're going into map four now. Charlotte, up 3 0 right now, taking the first three maps. And with that third map victory, we have ensured that Charlotte has won today. 
Uh, we have beat Carlton Heston, even if they get the last two maps. We have decided to forfeit the last two matches. There you go. So they are forfeiting their last two matches, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Actually, we would have loved to play them. If we played them, then we would have been able to get that point differential. Um, but uh, it looks like Charlotte has won the day. We are 3-0. Make that a 5-0 because of the forfeit on Carlton Heston. So that's a great showing in week two by Charlotte. Again, we did not have an opponent week one. So um, really, that's that's really week one for us. But it says week two on the roster or on the schedule. Um, so I appreciate everybody coming out. I saw we were at like a peak of 12 people. Thank you for coming out and enjoying Overwatch with me. Um, and thank you for allowing me to yell into your ears for about an hour uh, or so. And uh, next week we will be back. We are going to play every Thursday for the next six weeks um, until we eventually, hopefully, have a chance to get into the playoffs and go to states. There is an in-person state playoff at the end of every season, so we're trying to qualify for that right now. Um, I appreciate everybody coming out. Orioles, you have a good night. And uh, go Orioles, Oriole Pride.